Right, today, out of the way, Scylla, Scylla, out of the way, good girl. Today I'm going to show you something that you might find very, very useful. And what we're going to do is my son, Tom, so I'm just on my electric wheelchair, I'm in between chemo and radiotherapy and I've got a little bit of energy. So we're going to show you something that you might find very useful. Many of the old motors, I'll show you this here, trip out modern fuses in modern houses. Nothing wrong with the motors, but the induction motors take such a large start-up current that they just trip the fuses out, which drives everyone mad and you can't use them. So what we're going to do is Tom is going to switch it to a brushless servo motor. Now these are very low energy, much more economical to use, and you have excellent control. There's loads of different ones available between 100 and 200 pounds, um, or the equivalent in dollars or whatever. Uh, this is just one that I, I found on online and bought. So we're gonna fit this to the machine and we're gonna show you how we do it. Now, this is a very small Benina industrial, of course behind slightly larger Brother industrial, and the same motor will fit on either. So the same principle will work on either and we'll show you how we do it. So this is step well, one. That's a bit of a difference that heavy monster is off and the new special super quiet, super efficient motor is on. All you have to do now is reattach it to the head and do a little bit of wiring and we'll show you when it's done. Incidentally, that motor there with its three bolt fixing will bolt straight onto the big, the big machines like the one at the back there. So uh, yes, yeah, a brilliant little conversion. I'm going to show you how we go. I pointed out that it looked like a bit of a magic trick and it looked like it was much more complicated than it is. So if you just come in closer, I'll just show you. This, this would be the same as your tabletop. So the motor is mounted on three bolts, eight millimeter holes that are drilled through and the bolts can be cut. So, this bolt was slightly too long, so we just cut it a little bit, and that's it. I'm gonna turn it over. This all looks very complicated, but believe me, it's not. This is supplied in a complete unit. There's no wiring that you have to do. You just plug it in, and you can't plug it in wrong. These won't plug in the wrong places. And the only thing that you have is the plug. Now, it came with a two pin plug, so I just bought an adapter to go for a normal normal plug socket and we can just plug it in so that is just going to be put back in there the belt is going on and then we're going to give it a go so we'll, you'll see how it works in a minute penultimate step before sewing is to put the belt on i use eight millimeter leather belting but there's hundreds of different types of leather belting and different thicknesses if you put a piece of string round from the pulley to the motor and back, that will give you the length. Obviously I buy it by the roll because I'm using it all the time, but you can just buy a length and buy a clip. Uh, make, it, make two holes either with a drill or a nail or a pair of punch pliers and then join it. If you join it wrong, you can recut it so don't panic. And also you can adjust the motor up and down. So don't worry too much about that. Electrical safety absolutely paramount and it must be perfect don't ever mess around with electrics i always use a pat test to test everything now technically the motor is brand new so it won't need a pat test technically for a year um, but oh silly what you do but the light if you put a second hand light if you look i've just drilled a little hole in the back and i've just put a light there so that gives you a fantastic light for sewing you can pat test the light the motor is not joined to anything electrical. The only thing that joins it to the motor is the leather belting. So technically, there is no electricity in, in the motor, in, in the head, sorry. But again, you can pat test it. It's obviously gonna pass because there is no electricity. But there you go, everything is set up. Genuinely, it is a lot easier than, than it looks. It looks tricky, but if you take your time, step by step by step, you will do it very easily and you will save yourself a lot of money and you will convert like this old banana into something that will work for another 50 years. 
that to and save you electricity because these new motors are incredibly cheap to run so the last step is actually the sewing extraordinary to think that these brushless servo motors these new brushless motors uh, are so much more controllable so much better power and so much cheaper to run than the old induction motors so what we're going to show you now is the actual machine in use everything's done in the earlier clip when i said uh, uh, there's no electricity in the motor of course i mean there's no electricity in the head this is completely separate of course there's electricity in the motor that was the cancer talking right so let me show you the controls very very simple this is the Benina industry um and of course with the servo motor you've got excellent control with these motors you can actually um set the speed there so you can have it up to 3000 revolutions or down to whatever you want uh this is what's great even at slow speed you've got full power so so you can speed up or whatever um here the controls of the machine on this particular model you've got forward and reverse you've got drop feed you've got twin you can put twin needle in so everything you've got twin tension and you've got twin holes in the take up lever you can put a twin needle in if you want that sort of thing very few people do zigzag okay needle position so you can sew to the left or to the right of the foot or in the middle or whatever five step buttonhole it's all there drop feed if you want to do free motion this machine is amazingly flexible so if i want zigzag just dial zigzag in this is the widest zigzag and i've got a nice wide zigzag and of course this will take industrial needles and it will go through very thick work bobbin winder is just like an industrial machine just clicks on the side there and when the whole machine folds away uh, that will come off and the whole thing will just boom 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 into a small unit which you put a flower pot on or whatever when you're not using it that uh, yes yeah, so so nearly there now the final step and i'll just show you it folded away in a second well that's it all done and dusted and this is the final thing folded away beautiful little thing and I hope you found that useful. Bye for now.